YouTube. First of all, before I even get on with the video, let me just give a shout out to everybody who supported me on my last YouTube video, cause y'all see I really need y'all support. I'm really trying to get something started with this. But first of all, today what I'm introducing is a new segment I wanna call Black Brad. So what I'm gonna be doing today is pretty much gonna be showing y'all how it is being a black student at this PWF, Bradley University. But I'm also gonna be giving y'all tips of a typical college student and pretty much gonna be showing y'all how it is to be around the school and also being a freshman. And I'm about to get ready right now. It is currently 7.02 in the morning. Why am I up this early? I picked the 8 a.m. class. I know, why would you pick an 8 a.m. class? I picked the 8 a.m. class because my auntie always said, the people who wake up the earliest are the most successful people. So, but me trying to be the successful person that I want to be, I made sure I picked myself an early class so I could just have early classes, get out around like two, and then I got the rest of the day free where I could do homework, go to the gym, go to work. I'm trying to run this bag. I'm gonna run this bag up now. So I'm actually gonna get ready right now and then I'm gonna come back to y'all and y'all pretty much gonna be coming with me for the day. So I'll see y'all shit when after I get done getting ready. And yes, I know I'm, I look a little crusty right now. I'm not as handsome as I usually be, but I'm finna get ready. I'm finna get ready, get myself together, get my face washed, make sure I brush my teeth and shit. I'm gonna get back in that mode, all right? Y'all gonna be coming with me pretty much a day in a life. Let's run this one up. All right, y'all, what's up? I'm actually walking to class right now. I wanted to show y'all like a little montage of me getting ready and stuff, but the way time I'm looking, that's not happening. So I'm actually a little late for class. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little late for class. But yeah, right now I got a class in Westlake Hall. That is one of our many halls that we get after school because everything is named pretty much after a hall. Right now, I think I have a history class. Yeah, I got a history class, eight o'clock. It's low key past eight o'clock right now, but that's cool. I ain't tripping about that. We gonna see how that is. First of all, tip number one. Today is actually the first day of school for the spring semester. So usually the first day is syllabus day. Do not buy your books on the first day, all right? Wait till you get there, see what books you need first, and then that's when you buy your books. Because a lot of the times, one, you may find that book in like a free PDF file. Two, some of those books you might not even use. And three, you gotta see how much those books cost anyway. Because I, will, I know sometimes some schools, like you can see what how much your books cost. Well, actually at most schools, you can see how much your books cost. Yeah, that stuff be expensive. Like those books are not cheap. So make sure if you can find that early, do that. Do a rough estimate to see how much your books gonna cost. But at the end of the day, make sure you go to your class first and see what books you need and ask the teacher, is we really gonna be using these books? Because some teachers gonna tell you straight up, we not using these books for real. Um, if you can, just rent it or something like that. They gonna keep it 100 with you. So yeah, I'm making my way to the class now. I'm actually about to show y'all what the building looks like right now. That is what Westlake look like. I also have another class over there. That's Bradley Hall. Bradley Hall looks pretty decent. But yeah, this is what the campus look like so far. I probably did a fast. That's my business building. That building nice, real, real nice. That's like the newest building we got over there. But yeah, this is what everything looked like. It looked pretty dead out here because of course I got an 8 a.m. class and everybody's most likely in class right now. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, this feel kind of weird. Like this YouTuber life is a whole lot different from the regular, of course, but I'm gonna get more like camera comfortable eventually. I kind of camera comfortable right now because it's just like, it's me talking to y'all. I'm talking to the views right now. But yeah, I'm about to walk in, find out where my class is at. And hopefully she not on my ass about being, well, she not gonna be on my ass about being late, especially since it's an 8 a.m. class. She might have a better understanding like, oh, it is an early class. Like, I'm on the wrong side. Do. Um, attendance is taken and does count for points in class. So I know this is an 8 a.m. class, all right, uh, y'all, right now I'm in my education class, well, history of U.S. education class. And right now they just had us, like, you know, talking to other people, kind of doing icebreakers a little bit. She wants to be a little bit social, but the way I am, I just be in here chilling. I did what I had to do already, so right now I guess I'm just talking to y'all until she ready for the next little presentation, little part of her presentation. This is the first day of class. As you can see, we're in a little auditorium and ain't much going on here, but I'm just waiting on her and I'm kind of bored. So I'm gonna do a view of the room, 
a view of the hall a little bit, and then I'm gonna give y'all another tip. All right, y'all, what's up? This is me really just showing y'all what the classroom looked like. I know y'all was gonna wonder what it, the classrooms in the inside look like. And it was a pretty decent class for the first class. Um, I actually have my teacher right here. Here you have Dr. Urbank. I noticed that I was having a hard time coming up with tips off the top of my head. So she gonna give you one just for being a college student in general. So the first thing I recommend is always be networking. No matter what your major or your future job is going to be, networking is so important. So never burn a bridge. This kind of goes in with that. So always find ways to meet people, connect with people, but never burn a bridge with anyone because you never know when that person may pop back up in your life and be critical to your success. She is not lying about that. Networking is really important here, not even only at Bradley, but just in school in general. Networking will get you so far in places. So make sure you network, make sure you be okay with meeting new people and actually talking to people, discussing people about y'all goals and stuff that y'all wanna do coming up in here in school. So I'm about to make it on, on my way to my next class. I don't know what my next set of class is. I gotta look. I'm gonna hit y'all back in a minute. I'm gonna look at that and then it's gonna be back to us again, vibing on my journey, looking and seeing what's gonna go on through this next little semester. So I'm gonna hit y'all back. All right, y'all, this is what Westlake Hall looks like. As you can see, we got some pretty decent buildings in here. It's a downstairs area over there. Show y'all a little view up over here, see what this look like for y'all. We got multiple levels. That's what one of those classrooms look like. It's pretty big in there. Just gonna keep walking through here just to show y'all everything. They go Dr. Irving back over there. But yeah, this is what everything looked like. It's slight decent in here. I hope don't nobody say nothing about me, you know, having them on camera, but I'm not gonna try to get too many people out here. All right, I wanted to show y'all a different angle at school, cause I feel like the other angles, I ain't really have no good angles for real. Well, I have some decent angles, but I want to just give y'all as much angles as I could possibly give y'all. This is building over there. That's actually one of my favorite buildings to go to, cause it's just the nicest. This is Bradley Hall. I got my next class in that hall. That was Westlake. I'll be forgetting what these other halls is called because I don't be having classes in there. Some of them not even halls. That building over there is called Olin Hall. That's usually for like the science classes and shit like that. This is the campus. It looked decent as hell. It looked a whole lot better when, you know, the weather is different. But yeah, this is what I'm working with right now. All right, right now I got the opportunity to show y'all what the front of Bradley Hall looks like. Got some decent little wall art on there. It's an okay looking little building. It's nothing, it's nothing too fancy, you feel me? You got the paintings on, that's not even a fucking painting for real. That's a little picture. Or is this, oh, this is a, a real painting. You know, sometimes they be having pictures that be looking like paintings, but they really don't be paintings. But I'm about to go down here, flash on some more wall art. And it's a decent little, decent little area to go into. That's dope as hell. Every time I walk in here, I like that. I like looking at that. But shit, I am a little artist, so of course I just like looking at multiple art. Yeah, this is what the building looks like. I'm in this whole like affair for real, for real, just scoping everything out and shit. But I'm gonna put the camera down so I don't have nobody looking at me. That's just thing. What I tell y'all, I always get the levers off my feet. Always. This is the rest of the building. This is the other side. Some of the classrooms look like. Oh shit. We just spotted my boy Ricky. This nigga and this bitch with a ski mask on. All right, my boy Ricky said he got a tip for us. Fuck Bradley, don't come to this school if you can tell. Don't go to no college and, and actually you should not go to college. That's the dumbest way, the dumbest thing you could do in your early year. Do not go to college. I'm stuck in this bitch. He fucking with you. He I'm not fucking with you. He lying. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! I be don't get me wrong. I don't like college either. I'm really just doing this shit so I can run my bag up. You can uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can still make your own decision on that. But yeah, let me make sure I go to my class, find my class and shit. I don't even know where my class at, but I'm gonna figure it out. So I'm really having a hard time finding my class right now. Like. I don't know why. Like, I don't know where the fuck this class at. Let's see. I'm at. So, oh, it's right up. All right, I'll catch y'all. This is another one of the classrooms. This is more basic. 
this building usually has more of the basic classrooms anyway you might find something different depending on the class but yeah this is the class this is my contemporary world first world forces class i don't know why that's hard to say together contemporary world forces hmm. but yeah this is what i got right now and i'm about to make my way to my next class uh i don't know what my next class is I don't really be doing too much of a good job looking at what class I got next to be honest with you. Um, I do got another tip for y'all. One of my problems was I did not know how to manage my time well when it came to me first starting school. Make sure you manage your time well. I promise you that's the number one thing to success when it comes to college, managing your time. Not only that, try to do your work as quickly as possible. I'm talking about early. So if you got a class if you, on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and you was assigned something Monday and it's due Wednesday, try to do it that Monday. And usually a lot of the times, classes, usually like make your assignments due at like 11.59 at night. Get it done as fast as possible. I promise you, that's the best way to do it. That'd be crazy if I bust my shit downstairs. I'd be very upset. But I low key got out of class early too. So I don't know where I'm about to go, but this is how class is going for me so far. Ain't nobody else sad. Cause really a lot more people is in their classes waiting but i think i'm about to slide to the student center just to show y'all what's going on enough we got like a little quick mart in there called the pod we got a chick-fil-a in there we got a fake little chipotle spot in there called mo's so and we got this other spot in there i don't know what's the name of that spot but it's like what type of place is that i know they be making like sandwiches sometimes on random days they had like wings and shit often Let's go talk to Lydia real quick. Lydia is actually the founder of the school. And they got her ass posted up in the middle of the uh, campus just chilling. One thing about this school, you're going to have the friendliest fucking squirrels. Like, look, that motherfucker just dipped off. That shit funny. That hoe just dipped off. I think this is some of my upperclassmen. Homies right over here. This Lydia. What up, Lydia? I got to talk to you from time to time. Yo. Appreciate it. I'm glad I just seen y'all because y'all see I'm doing my YouTube. Oh, so y'all got any tips that y'all want to give out? For, tips for the first day of school? First day of school, either first day of school, just being in the college in general, especially at Bradley. I got a segment, it's called Black Bradley. Okay. So Okay, Black and Bradley. Black and Bradley, Black and Bradley. My, my best advice is to stay organized, stay consistent, have a goal and end goal. For instance, you want to get your GPA up, make sure that you stay consistent on getting your GPA up. But yeah, time management, biggest thing. I was just talking to them about that. I told them that's the most successful way yep. to go through school, your Extra time management. curriculars, your school, work, all of that. Like, make sure you have a set schedule to oh. put yourself on. And they actually um, work on BSA. So I'm going to show that. I'm going to show that one of those days. We do have a BSA here. So I know I've been talking to y'all about, you know, being at PWS shit. We is not alone. We got our little, you know, our little click, you know, on me. So, so yeah, they do run BSA here. So I'm going to show that one day. And you got anything that you want to say? Yeah. You know, don't be too prideful to ask for help either. You know, everybody goes through stuff. Just remember that you got people out looking for you. Make sure that you use your resources as best as you can. Make sure you grind, stay hard, stay fo uh, for stay sure. For this well, party though, make party sure you party. party I was about to say, don't get me. Yeah, have your phone for time to time. Have your phone. <laughs> oh, bro. Oh, All right. I'm going to catch y'all in a little bit. I don't know where I'm about to go next because I still got a little bit of time before my next class since people want to let me out early and shit. All right, y'all. This is the student center. This is where everybody comes to when it comes to, you know, grabbing stuff, doing work. Just, or just kicking it, you feel me? Like I said, I already told y'all what little star, stores that they got in here. Right now they got them closed down. I don't know why. I'm pretty sure it's early enough for that stuff to be open. Maybe it's not, because I'm not used to having no early classes for real. But yeah, this is the pod. That's a little quick mark. As you see, it is a Starbucks in there, so it always be a little line from time to time. And the line is regular for Starbucks and just to get basic marketplace stuff. So. That line be long as hell. Sometimes. Depending on what times you go in there. But yeah, it's empty as hell right now. Maybe later on when we come in here, there's gonna be more people, but this is the kick it spot. This is the kick it spot. We got a little TV. Don't nobody be watching that shit though. But yeah, that's all I wanted to show y'all with this little area. 
I'm gonna hit y'all back up when I'm on my way to my next class. That over there is the bookstore area. That's where people can go buy their books for the classes that they need and stuff like that. And over here, that's where like the actual big dorm buildings is at. My dorm building is like all the way down there at this building right here that I'm pointing at. They probably waiting on me to cross, but I don't care. Shit, I got, I got places to be making content right now. Y'all yeah, be all right. It is dorm halls over here as well. So sometimes it's not gonna be around the corner from each other, but this is a small campus. So you pretty much gonna be able to walk anywhere quickly. Like to keep it a buck with you, like to walk to your class is only gonna take like five minutes maybe eight max but really it should only take you like five minutes to walk to class all right y'all this is one of the classrooms that i am in right now for my theater class and so far from what i've seen i have a pretty dope teacher he real active he's real passionate about his job you should have seen him he was sweating on the forehead during the presentation and everything he's gonna give us one of the tips what's your tip hey hey uh if you are uh, considering college going to college whatever ask for help. If there's something you need help with, ask for help. There are resources everywhere. You may not even know what is out there. Ask for help. Especially if you're first generation. If you were like me, if you were the first person in your family to go to college, ask for help. You don't know what you don't know yet. Talk to people. Start to figure stuff out. Cool? Best of luck, folks. Told you, the man is passionate about his job. He know what he's talking about. I ain't never, like I said, I ain't never been here. For real, for real, I think I came here like once. I'm gonna just give y'all a little tour. Show y'all what it looks like in the inside, and then we're gonna go back to the student center and just kick it in there for a little bit. This is the inside of the GCC. Like I said, I've only been here about once. I guess this is probably like the theater hall too as well, because like I said, I just came from my theater class. It's pretty decent enough. And here, it's not really much in here. It's like, it's like paintings, pictures, movie posters. They got this plans movie poster right over there offices let me come back around giving y'all a different angle of the building i would go upstairs but to be honest with you i don't even feel like doing all that but yeah this is a little spot i'm gonna show y'all the outside this is the perfect timing um this is another one of my upper class and friends um i need you to give a tip like for a college student in general especially black college student because this is a part of my segment black bradley so um Make sure you make friends with the other black kids at your school. But also the upper class when I'm gonna find you before you find them, so. Yeah. Be all right. So, how right, you go now? <laughs> she said she was gonna be late for class or whatever. I had to let her go. And this is the GCC. Pretty decent building. Nothing too much to it. It's a nice little area outside. Right over there, we got Campus Town. Over there at Campus Town, it's a lot of different like restaurants and stores and stuff where you can pretty much use your ID and you can buy stuff. So we got this thing here called Quick Cash. Quick Cash is pretty much part of your meal plan and other stuff like that. You got dining dollars, pretty much those is the cash that you can use for like Chick-fil-A and Moe's and other places like that. And the Quick Cash, use that for like your laundry and shit like, you know, if you wanna go to campus town and buy something at CVS. I gotta show you the other halls. These are some more dorm halls. These are the single ones. You know, these are typically smaller than the original. You don't, of course, you're not gonna have no roommates, so of course that's why they're smaller. And the inside look a little bit different from the actual hall, but I'm gonna show y'all what the actual halls look like in the inside. I'm gonna show y'all what my hall looks like, my dorm. I have a pretty decent dorm. And on top of that, I will not have a roommate, so I got lucky with that. All right, y'all, this is my brody. What's good, what's good? Yeah. He finna give y'all another tip. Um, He also is an alpha. Uh -huh. So I'm just gonna record something about like the Greek like and stuff. Eventually, I don't know when, but. What they what they wanna know, what they wanna know. What y'all wanna just know? Just anything, bro. We need something. This is Black Bradley. We trying to figure out any black tips Bradley. that uh -huh. we can give to the college students, whether they black or not. But we just need one college tip. Get on your teacher's good side early, cause then they'll plug you. Oh, bro, he's not lying about that. I'm trying to tell you. This is a close up of the dorm halls. Like I said, my dorm hall is down there. Mine's is the bigger building. These are actually two halls together. So, this first one right here is Wyckoff. The other one is Harper. I live in Harper. And Harper looks a little bit nicer than Wyckoff. I'm not going to lie to you. Compared to Wyckoff, 
to hard for my shit luxury a little bit. I'm not going to lie to you, I'm about to slide over here to the student center. I'm about to slide to the student center class. I'm not going to lie to you, I'm hungry as hell. Like, I ain't had nothing to eat. I've been with y'all the entire time. It's been us vibing, kicking it. So, I'm about to find some me something to eat. It might be some Chick-fil-A. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, that's probably bad for me to be eating right now. But I need some food in my system. Like, cut me some slack. We finna go ahead and grab some food. I might talk to y'all a little bit further. But I got a little bit of free time. I got like an hour and a half until my next class. So I'm going to get up with y'all soon. All right, y'all. I just made it back. I'm actually about to go to my next class. I got one more class. I got a math class back in Bradley Hall. But while I'm here back in my dorm, I just wanted to show y'all what the hall looked like. So I'm about to show y'all that. And then we're going to be going back off to my last class, but it's not going to be over after that. I got a little bit more to show y'all. I'm going to show y'all the gym. Dope as hell. Look real nice in there. I always go in there, especially when I want to go relieve some stress. I go in there, work out, lift some shit. Sometimes I go hoop. But yeah, so these are the elevators. This is the regular little common area. This is the little area where you go to pick up your packages and shit like that. And then on this side, it's a little room in here. I guess that's where, that's where like the people be having their meetings and shit at. The mailboxes, another little area where you can study at. And around that corner over there is actually like vending machines and stuff like that. Another little area for just sitting down and chilling. Then when you get down here, you got that room. That's the lobby that's for like, Studying really, but half the time, I usually just see people in here kicking it, doing work, or as you can see, playing the game. Yeah, that's all. Nothing too much about this place. Nothing too special. Let's make our way back to Bradley Hall. I got another upperclassman friend for y'all, and she is also a part of Greek Life, and she got another tip for y'all. So, what's your tip? I'm Katie, uh, I'm a junior psychology major on a free law track. So, you know, do it for the black women, do it for the black people. But I say like one tip is to make sure that you do not allow yourself to change because of the situation you're in. Like I understand code, like code switching is a thing. It's gonna be a big thing in PWIs, definitely to make sure that, you know, in certain areas you feel a little bit more respected, but understand that at any time you still have the opportunity to be yourself and no one else should judge you just by the color of your skin or assume that you're some type of way by the color of your skin. So be true to yourself and keep your peace because your peace is what matters. Real nigga activity. All right, what's your tip? My tip for being black is Bradley. Get out of your comfort zone. Black Bradley is here. You just have to go find it. So talk to people, make friends, go to events. You'll be happy. It's great. All right, with me being a marketing major, I did want to show y'all this building because we do have the best building for all the majors. I'm not going to lie to you. So I'm going to show you this building right now. And after that, that's when we're going to go to the gym. And I'm gonna show y'all what that look like. This is the building. Got a lot of glass to it. Now I'm about to walk in and show y'all the inside. Man, y'all, it's raining out here as well, so let me hurry up and get my ass in. And this is the business building. Yes, like I said, we have a dope ass building. I'm not gonna lie to you. This is usually the building that everybody comes to when it comes to like, you know, studying. And you know, any other, anything else that people want to do in here, but yeah. This is where I usually come to study and kick it and chill. But this is mainly the study area that I use this for. So that's all I'm gonna do for this area. All right, so while I have the free time, I just want to talk to y'all, give y'all a little bit more information when it comes to, you know, just being a college student and stuff like that. Also got another tip for you. So when it comes to work, Try to get every piece of work in that is literally a necessity. Like in high school, yeah, it's okay for you to miss a couple of assignments because you're always getting assignments. Sometimes you're going to have classes where that's not going to slap because either one, they don't give out that much homework, you don't have that class that much, or their percentages is different. So it's sometimes where you get classes that your homework outweighs more than the test and then your exams out outweigh more than both of those. So that's why your homework is important and every piece of work that you get is important. Like that's one of the mistakes that I have made. Yes, bro, do your work. Like not saying I wasn't doing my work, but I was not on top of my work like I should have been. In college, it is harder trying to get up after being low. So it's not as easy as it as you think it would be like in high school. College, especially being at a private college like Bradley University, 
it is difficult. Also, I feel like I didn't do a good job explaining like uh, what the school has to offer and what it is exactly. So B1 Private College is located in Peoria, Illinois. Um, if you ain't never been to Peoria, just go to South Chicago Heights or Chicago Heights. They look the exact goddamn same. Bogus as hell. But the campus making it look a whole lot better. But the city itself, you have to go to certain areas for it to be just a little bit nice. But yeah, the city not that goddamn nice. Like I said, we do not have a football team. When you get here, you have a free gym that usually is open from like 6 a.m. or 8 a.m. all the way up until like 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. Depending on the day. So it does differ on the different days. We have a health service that is legit like a mini clinic over there, like pretty nice little area for that for that over there. Um another tip, utilize tutors and the library and other things like that. I promise you, they have a lot of recess resources for you. You're going to need. It was times where I went to tutoring, I only went for one day, but after that, I kind of already knew that oh, okay, this might be one of those classes that you know who off the bam. Make sure you talk to your teachers if you are falling. Make sure you talk to them and ask like, hey, what can I do to get my grade up to this level? Stuff like that. Because there's going to be times where, yeah, you've been working hard, but some stuff you're not going to know. When it comes to classes that you are failing, before, they're going to give you a certain day. If you are failing that class and you know you're not going to pass, drop that class before the end of the semester. The reason I say that is because if you fail a class, not only does it look bad on your record, but you have to retake it, and then you have to pay. You have to pay to retake it again. That's not something you want to do. I've never failed a class, but I know people have told me like that is what happens if you do fail a class. So that's why it's so important to stay on top of your work. It's just so much stuff that you got to worry about that you shouldn't have to worry about, and that nobody feels like worrying about. Make sure you just stay on top of your work. I cannot press that enough. Like, stay, just stay on top of your work, and especially come to a campus like Bradley or just a small campus in general. I know when you first get here, you're eager to, you know, experience new things, try different stuff, go out and party and kick it. That's cool and all, that's fun, you can do that. But make sure that you are balancing that lifestyle out because if you're doing more of one or the other, it's either gonna be real boring or real stressful. So make sure it's just balanced out so you can have a decent social life and a good education life. And I promise you, you'll be straight. Today was the first day of classes. The last class I just left was my math class. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, I thought that was gonna be easy because it's celibus day. Everybody mainly been letting us out early. No, nah, his ass got the right stuff on. Oh, hold on, so I thought this is syllabus day. I thought we was just, you was just going through syllabus, we was gonna leave. I don't care about this MX equals Y shit. I, man, look, I ain't come here for that. I just came here to see what you was offering us See what we had to do for the class and get up out of her. And I was going to talk to him, but I'm like, nah, whatever tips he got, I'm not really trying to hear it because he probably going to say the same stuff as everybody else. And he probably not worried about this YouTube shit. He just trying to do his job because he got straight to that shit when we was in that classroom. So that's all I have for y'all for right now, at least. Like I said, I'll not forget about the jump. I am going to show y'all the jump. But then after that, the video is over with. And then I'm going to edit this for y'all and make it look spicy. So... Yeah, I'm going to see y'all in a little bit. I got to go take care of this business real quick. So I'm going to see y'all soon. All right, what's up, y'all? I'm finally showing y'all the gym. This probably what y'all been waiting for for a little minute for some people. I don't know. But yeah, it's hella nice stuff. So I'm going to just go throughout the gym, show you what they got, show you everything. And then after that, that's the end of the video. All right, that's the front door, of course. Before you walk in here, that's where you walk into the office. For the, like the health service stuff, like it looked pretty nice in there, but I can't go on there. They have a rock climbing wall. I see people all the time coming here and climb the rock wall. And they go up pretty high too, so. They got a little food service place right here called Jerry's, I think. I ain't never been there before. They got some offices and shit down there. And then as you come through, you got to scan in. on the staircase on the left right as soon as you walk past it's a little locker room area right over here and they got a little other locker room so you just put your stuff up real quick and this is the gym 
As you see, they playing the game right now. My boy DeLon over there with the ball right now. Hey, DeLon, do something for the camera, gang. DeLon, you on camera, gang. Do <laughs> All shit. Oh. Uh, it was close, though. My boy can hoop for real, for real. But, yeah, back to it. There's the stairs. Over here is another basketball court. But this one is called the performance court. Usually, a lot of times, people be, like, running their practices and shit in there. And here we have our big-ass gym. We got hella in here. This is our track. We got a decent sized little track. The stuff over here as well, right over there. And this stuff down there where like it's a pull up bar at. And it's some like a little stretch mats over there at the end. I'm gonna get closer to the waist just to show y'all. Just to get closer to the weight room area, this is where everything looked like. It's dope as hell in here, like I said. I love being in here. I'm gonna show y'all this. But yeah, this is the rest of the area. It's pretty much like a mini LA fitness center, for real, for real. That is the end of the video. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Make sure y'all follow all my social media because I'm going to be posting on there, showing y'all, you know, the stuff that's coming soon. So, yeah, if you watched it fully, I appreciate you so much. I'm going to keep running them back. I told y'all, I'm really going to grind this shit out. So, like I said, y'all see me on the next one. I'll catch y'all.